Um, did you notice uh, most of what she said in that speech was almost identical to Call Drogo in Episode 7? Mm-hmm. The same stuff he was saying to his people? Pretty much. Um, um so, Ooh. that was Episode 6. Yep. Um... What stood out? Anything? Mm, few things. Few things? Uh, the who has 1,000 uh, ships. ships. And I'm like, I look at the map. <laughs> hmm, Ironborn. Ironborn. Go a ways away. Yeah. They're flying. Mm -hmm. uh, aren't they going there? Yeah. Wow, just a stroke of luck. <laughs> Probably get there sometime like within a month after Danny reaches there. Right. I mean, it's gonna take a week for them to go back down to Marine, Marine but it's gonna probably take a little longer right. for them to get there. So within a month. Within a month. We're getting together, eh? Maybe maybe episode eight. <laughs> All right. So we open up with uh, Mira pulling Bran. Mm-hmm. And Bran is green seeing. Yep. Yeah. He was going through a lot of stuff there. Yeah. It's like he was having like a green seeing seizure. Because right. it was just like flash, 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 flash. flash all flash. over the place. I saw some familiar things. I saw some not familiar things. Like with the burn them all. Burn them with the whole Mad King. The Mad King. That was the first flashback to the Mad King. Yes. Showing the Mad King. Yep. Then I saw Ned's death. I saw um, Kat getting her throat slit <laughs> during the Red Wedding. Showed Rob, too. Yeah. Showed a lot. Showed a lot. Mostly up some nines. <laughs> Can't see why. Uh, then he waited. Then the baby <laughs> reveal. The. 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 Um. Yeah. The baby reveal. The baby reveal. Yeah. You know, the whole, um, the White Walker baby reveal thing. Oh, that part. Yep. <coughs> okay, well, Bran wakes up. Mm-hmm. And the Whites are almost there. Yeah. And saved by a mysterious man on a horse. Yep, Uncle Benjamin. Uncle Benjamin. Did you ever think we'd see him again? Nope. So there's He's an been MIA for, you know, six seasons. So I'm going to say your faults on your last episode Stark uh, reunion. Yeah, it is a Stark <laughs> reunion. All but right. I mean, I didn't really expect Uncle Benjamin to come uh, back. For show up again. Yeah. All right, well... <laughs> You never that know. Was long gone. Yeah, but we never saw him dead, so. Yeah. We, Although we he's, also he was MIA for like six seasons. Yes. Yep. He's the Morgan of uh, Game of Thrones. Going MIA for a couple seasons and coming back. <laughs> so. So we get that. Uh, then we get into some Sam and Gilly stuff. Quite a bit of Sam and Gilly. We get yeah. to meet Randall Tarley and the rest of Sam's family. See, the rest of uh, Sam's family is okay. Um, and then there's just his his dad is a, a, a jerk. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Don't judge a book by its cover or its ancestry. Because, I mean... He called Gilly a thing. Mm-hmm. He's just like... <sighs> it's under your skin, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Bugs me. Okay. Um, well, while we're on that, let's talk about the uh, dinner scene also then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're kind of talking that anyway. I'm just going to yeah. go back to that scene. Mm -hmm. so the dinner scene, leading all the way up till after... Uh, to where Sam decides to take Gilly and baby Sam. Mm -hmm. 
You agree with him? Yeah, it's probably the safer decision. Um, Knowing his father's hate for Wyatt. Right. The know. rest of the family seem to like her. Yeah. Randall seems a little on edge. Randall's a jerk. Um, but Sam took heart's pain. Mm-hmm. The Tarly Valyrian steel sword. Yep. Knowing he'll probably need that once he comes back up to the wall. Yes, very possibly. So, we got another Valyrian steel sword. Mm-hmm. In the right hands. Okay, so that was that stuff. Anything else stand out in the Sam and Gilly stuff for you? Hmm. Well, I mean, they're, um, just like when Gilly was tucking in baby Sam, it was just like all that calming music, mm -hmm. and it was just like, slams open the door, it's just like, <laughs> you're coming with me. You like that? <laughs> that was funny. Nice. Okay, well, let's go talk about the High Sparrow and Tommen, and then Marjorie and Tommen. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? <laughs> the Faith is brainwashing the crown. You think? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. I was getting that gist when I look over at you and you looked a little upset with all that <laughs> going on. It's not more, it's not upset, it's more annoyed. Annoyed? Disappointed? Yeah. So, things ain't looking good there. Um, now we can go to Bravos and talk about the Bravos stuff. Mm-hmm. So, she... Huh. Uh, she watched the other half of the play, which described the Purple Wedding and Tywin's death. Arya was getting a kick out of uh, Joffrey's death. Mm-hmm. I mean, after she heard, you know, what... Um, the crane said, Cersei, she's like, hmm, hmm, I don't know what to see. Because, I mean, it's, it's fall. She was more like, and she, she wasn't at the purple wedding, but she got a good gist of Cersei was angry. Yep. Because she'll, hmm. she's probably the only person in the audience that's actually met Cersei. Yep. Very likely. Mm -hmm. Clear up in Bravos. Uh, and then she, after the play, she went and poisoned the the wine, the wine rum, rum, yep. rum. But then, right before she drank it, she hit it out of her hand. <laughs> Did you notice how the scene right as that was coming up, everybody was drinking something? Uh huh. <laughs> Just like, watch that one. She wants you dead. <laughs> but the waif saw. Uh-huh. What do you feel about that? Like, oh no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then it has the short scene with the wave and jockin'. Yep. It's kind of worrying. And worrying? But then, are you what? You got Needle. Yeah, I'm like, yay, Needle! So what do you think's gonna happen with this little storyline? Hopefully it maneuvers over to Westeros. <laughs> very, 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 very soon. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. <laughs> ASAP, back to Westeros. You, uh -huh. You're not liking Bravos no more? Bravos is getting a little dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, at least Draken shows some affection for her because uh, she, he said, don't make her suffer. Right. Which made me, like, <laughs> suffer? <laughs> Suffer, suffer how? <laughs> yeah. Right. She needs to get out of that city ASAP. Find yep. the nearest boat and, and just get out of there. Alright. Well, then we go to Jamie and Mace. Mm -hmm. Leading armies up to Marjorie's and Walk of Atonement. Um, and nothing goes right. Nope. Rule number one. Nothing ever goes as planned. <laughs> ever. Ne not even <laughs> once. 
Oh, yeah. So there's Tom and Marjorie standing right next to the High Sparrow. Yeah. Crown in the faith. Mm-hmm. Oh, next scene. He's Britain rushing the crown. Yo. Next scene is Jamie getting fired by Tommen from the King's Guard. Mm hmm And then find out that Jamie has to go to the River Run. Yep. To get that back from the Blackfish. Yep. So. Then we go up to, the, you know, your old favorite Walter Frey. Yay. And his sons. He's not too happy with his sons right now. We've had one scene with him since episode one of season four. No, episode ten of season three. No, oh, it was. Yeah, because Red Wedding um, was three oh nine. It was three ten. Was last right. time we saw. Three ten. Haven't seen him in quite a while. Three seasons. Is that hate still there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number three. So that didn't waver at all, I guess. No. Um, but he's sending his sons back to try to take. <laughs> yep. And his secret weapon his is Edgar. Blackmail. No. Bargaining chip. Right. Um, probably forgot all about it, old Edgar, didn't you? Last time we saw him, he was married. Yeah. On his way to the bedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he ever made it to the bedding set in the morning because right after is when it all went down, he was probably in chains in a hurry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then we had the Jamie and Cersei scene mm -hmm. where Jamie says he doesn't want to go to River Run. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to leave Cersei behind because the trial is about to happen. Uh -huh. Cersei says, don't worry about it. Try by comment. I have the mountain. It's a good play. It's safe to say we don't have to worry. Don't have to worry. Yeah. Because who can beat the mountain, right? Uh, okay. Then we come back to Brand Mira and the reveal. The reveal. Long lost Uncle Benjamin. Benjamin is actually still alive. But he has something going on. Because yeah. he was stabbed by a White Walker. Yeah. But the children stop the White Walker magic mm -hmm. by shoving dragon glass into his heart, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how that so, kind of worked out, but, um... He's still around. Yeah. Not all weird zombie, ice zombie. Right, right. So, maybe we'll find out a little bit more here in the near future. Mm-hmm. Where did he get a horse? Well, he's been up there for a long time, so... I'm sure he can acquire a horse eventually. And some skills, apparently. Mm -hmm. He's wielding a little, the fire pretty uh, well. Fire It's a mace, right? Yeah, I think so. Fire mace. The flaming mace. <laughs> oh, and then we close up with Danny and the Dothraki. Yep. Everyone Tells listens. Dario to hold up for a second. She was going around the corner. Yep. Everyone listens to the girl riding the dragon. <laughs> um, so that's like two epic Danny scenes here in the last three episodes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Dothraki's probably definitely behind her now. Yeah. Mm. The side of her in the back of Drogon. She got yeah. like an extra upgrade from the <laughs> horse. So, Wait, where did the horse go? <laughs> oh. Maybe Drogon ate the horse. Possibly. Might have been hungry. <laughs> one of those plot holes. <laughs> I just pointed at one of the plot holes. Where did the horse go? Because she was riding a horse. Oh, well, we're going to go on a plot hole. Where did Drogon come from? All of a sudden he was just behind the he hill. Flew. Yeah, but nobody noticed him flying to the hill. <laughs> he was just all of a sudden there. Yeah, there's two, <laughs> two plot holes there. Where did the, where did seen, the horse I, go and where did the dragon come from? I have seen both those plot holes you know, pointed out in comment sections on the other reactions I watched you. Just simple ones. Yeah, simple but. ones that don't necessarily <laughs> matter. 
But it's confusing once you find them. It's just like, where did the horse go and where did the dragon come right. from? Right. A little Unless funny. A little funny too. Dragon was the horse all along and it was changed into a dragon. Oh. <laughs> it explained maybe. everything. Yes, it would. <laughs> Except for maybe how. The mystical horse to dragon. Transformation. Alright, so. The horse just got an upgrade. Just got an upgrade. Yeah, I'd rather be a fire-breathing dragon versus just, you know, a horse. Yeah. Uh, Trumpcon's getting big, though. Mm-hmm. She's like... Three times the span of our house. Remember way back a couple seasons ago when they were, you know... About the span of our house? <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. All right, well, that was episode number six. Blood of my blood. Did we even hear that? Riddle. Riddle, right, okay, the answer on how you live to the riddle is you will hang me because, and that statement would have been a paradox because if it was a lie, he would have been hung, which would have made it a truth, which means he would have gotten his head chopped off, which meant that statement would be a lie. It's a paradox. So... According to the riddle, the people that wanted to kill you couldn't go against the words, so they just kind of freed you. <laughs> and that's the, I remembered it was because I wrote it in my notebook. <laughs> yeah. I almost I forgot can, anyway until I just I glanced down. I forgot. <laughs> so, episode six. Uh, like I said beforehand, um, I'll have a comment in the episode five discussion. Mm -hmm four questions on episode six and seven because okay. we will do a double viewing on our next go round. A quick question, what was the real credit scene? The blood of my blood. Um when she's given the speech. Hmm? When she's given the speech. Who? Uh Danny. Danny. Um Blood of My Blood. When she was talking I will not have three blood riders or or something about you're all yeah. blood of my blood or something yeah. like that. Gotta have to rewatch it and rewatch the last scene. Yeah, maybe we'll do that when we turn this off, just so mm -hmm. you can see where the roll credit was. It was in that speech though. Okay. I didn't so. hear it. Well, I didn't read it. <laughs> Alright. So we're signing off for now. Yep. And we will see you again for episode seven. Mm -hmm. Bye.